all racking is going to go on an alpha. This is one type. This is another type. And this is our type. Our type is interesting because we're going on to an I-beam, which is not the other roof. Our feet are going on to a, a roof or something that has a structure behind it. We're actually going on to this I-beam here. Basically what is happening here is this L foot, which is the same as here, is going to clip right here. And then you're going to take these that come with our mount and you're going to attach one here and one here. And this is not going to allow that to go anywhere. So therefore it's going to be fixed like this indication right here. Or all rails either are going to clamp on the bottom or on the side. Some of the competitors could clamp on the side. Our Tamarack clamps from the bottom. So basically what is happening here is I'm putting this clamp, which comes with our racking system, into the L foot, exactly the same I would do as I was using this L foot or this L foot, and then I would mount my rails. In our case, like I said, this one, ours mount from the bottom. Many of them will mount from the side over here. There'll be an extruded slot right here, but they, any rails could attach the same way. This particular rail is structured and engineered for us. And once you have this piece mounted, it just snaps in. Our Tamarack rail is designed so this is a structural splice, so it doesn't matter where on the rail we put it. We're shipping our rails at 84 inch max and then cutting them to meet the needs for where the splice goes. So it doesn't really matter. Now, on any other competitor's rails, it would matter the span over the rail. You couldn't make an attachment that would be more than about 48 inches with that rail splice involved. Where with the Tamarack structural splice, it doesn't matter. The splice slides right in here and then it's connected with the universal clamps that go through the top. Because of that span I was discussing, on our mounts that are five modules or taller, we use what we call a spread clamp. Okay, this is a four foot long piece of angle iron and you'll see attachments here, attachments here. That's for your rail. Idealistically, this rail is not gonna get over a four foot span without having two attachments. And that would meet the specifications from not only our rail, but most competitive rails when you're connecting it on the I-beam because the connection to the I-beam is down here. You're going to see a connection right here. I had that kind of tight because it's been traveling, but a reel is going to go. Bam. 